What's up, guys? It's Jay. More than I have to kill. And I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And there are going to be times in your life where you won't agree with something. You might get a little bit frustrated. You might even get angry. And at that point, that's when I write down a letter. And there are times that even after writing down the letter, I still feel strongly about it. And I send it to the person. Or... I can read it to you guys and then send it to them and that's right this is gonna be another open letter to Gearbox regarding Ultimate Vote Hunter mode. Now those of you guys out there that are watching this let me remind you that I am not complaining in this video I am only offering suggestions and my opinions on Ultimate Vote Hunter mode so let's get right into the open letter. Dear Gearbox. The last open letter I sent to you regarding the legendary drop rates and how I believe the overuse of the beast shield could be directly contributed to the appalling drop rates percentage in this game. While I still maintain my stance that the cause for the beast shield and evil smashers widespread usage is in direct correlation to the drop rates being low, this doesn't cause me any concern any longer. We've moved on. We've adapted. What I write to you about today are my thoughts and opinions regarding Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. Not the mode itself, but rather the implementation of the mode in general. I think it was a rather bold and generous decision of your company to offer a new playthrough that not only upped the level cap, but gave us extra skill points and entire hard based difficulty playthrough. Since most companies cater their DLC towards the general masses and not the very small portion of the community looking for extreme challenges and difficulty settings, but with that said, I stress the key point in that sentence being a very small portion of the community looking for a harder difficulty in the game. This is where I think Ultimate Vote Hunter mode has fallen short. While most games offer the player the option to play at whatever difficulty level their own skill allows, Borderlands has now forced the hardest difficulty upon a large portion of the community who desire the opportunity to enjoy the entire game without feeling like they're not good enough to progress through Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. To make matters worse, the most enjoyable part of the update and the game, leveling up, is only obtainable through a $5 DLC. Now I'm not against companies making money, in fact, I've bought this game and the Season Pass DLC on Xbox Live and Steam, so you won't hear me complaining about pocket gouging or you guys try to make money off DLC. The problem I've noticed throughout the whole community is the fact that the, everybody who's already purchased prior DLC are now forced to sludge through Ultimate Vault Hunter mode to be able to enjoy some of the end game features that they have already purchased. Most notably, I am speaking about Seraph Crystals. Since the update, Seraph Crystals no longer drop in true Vault Hunter mode, forcing those who don't want to play through Ultimate Vault Hunter mode to play the mode if they wish to obtain these items legitimately. Now this, I see, is a big problem. Not just because a portion of the community is being limited, but a portion of DLC paying customers are now being limited to enjoy the entire scope of the DLC on a difficulty setting that might not be enjoyable to them. My solution for this would also be a solution to the previous problem I mentioned for the legendary drop rate percentages. Making the game enjoyable for everyone who wishes to enjoy the game that they purchased at the level of difficulty that they feel comfortable playing at. I suggest that True Vault Hunter mode should scale up to level 61 and offer Serum Crystals as a reward once again. To offset the difficulty to reward factor, those that do play in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode will be treated to pearlescent weapons, not only that, but higher legendary drop rates from bosses and many bosses alike in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. This would allow for the community to be able to enjoy the full scope of the game without punishing those who feel like the increased health, health regeneration, and resistance shields that the enemies sport in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode and make the game entirely too tedious for them to enjoy, as well as being rewarded for fighting appropriately leveled bosses with the appropriate level gear and getting the appropriately level rewards. This will also make the transition more enjoyable for those who are ready to take on Ultimate Vault Hunter mode to get those higher drop rate legendaries as a fully leveled 
and geared level 61 character. I also feel like the upscaling of True Bolt Hunter mode would blend the natural progression of the game from normal all the way to Ultimate Bolt Hunter mode for those that purchase the game in the future as an all-inclusive Game of the Year package, which ironically extended the life of the original Borderlands and will extend the life of this one as well. I'd like to point out that this is all just constructive criticism based on the feedback from not only just my subscriber base, but from what I've seen from the entire Borderlands community in general. I'm not complaining. I'm just offering a suggestion that will enhance the enjoyment of every Borderlands 2 player while at the same time taking enjoyment away from no one. It's a win-win situation. And I hope you take this into serious consideration and implement it into an entire brand new campaign for a Season 2 DLC. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I just say that? Yeah, I just said that. Bring us a new Season 2 DLC that is a full campaign. That's what we want. We're tired of playing through the first three playthroughs, goddammit. <laughs> Shit. Anyway. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. This was just an open letter that I am sending to Gearbox. I will also tag them in the title. That way, every time you like this, share this, and favorite it, it will tweet out on Twitter if you do have a connected account, and they will see it. So, my name is Jay, more than Afterkill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could throw a thumbs up on this video to help tweet it out to the people at Gearbox so they can see this. I just want this game to be enjoyable for everybody that doesn't feel like they don't want to be forced into Ultimate Vote Hunter motherfucking mode. So, like I said, my name is Jim Morton and I have to kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later.